hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to be creating one of imanga seeds classic motion graphic animation inside of davinci resolve so hopefully you will learn something new in this video uh, to get started we will first of all start creating our background let's um, create a simple solid color and set the color to red we will go to the media pool and uh, found this image which is this hand image drag it into the fusion and let's take a look at it and you can also rename this to and here we can just add some uh, effects to this so that uh, we can blend in nicely with the background over here add in a transform to this and we will scale it down after this we'll add in a color corrector in the color corrector we will go to options click on pre divide post multiply so that the color correction only applies to the image and here we will just change the color to red and then slightly play around with the saturation and change the contrast gain and you know all these sliders and kind of uh, try and blend it with the red background and after the color corrector i can also add in a brightness and contrast and i can again click on pre-divide post multiply and sort of uh, you know try and blend it nicely with the background in the background over here what we can do is i'm going to add in a film damage to this I'm going to disable the scratches and also we have the vignette over here so i can just control that um, great so for now let's just uh, delete or disable this uh, because uh, we are going to apply some different effects to this to make it you know look nice uh, the next thing is animating the hands at the moment it's static so let's animate it what i'm going to do is after the hand node i will add in a grid warp uh, in the grid warp make sure you're in the destination and it's set to region over here increase the x and the y size and i just i'd like to set the subdivisions to zero and we are going to create keyframes so we'll go to frame 60 and create a keyframe here make sure this is activated and let's go to the very first frame which is frame zero and start changing the grid over here so first of all let's just uh, reduce the distance so we have a smaller brush like so and i will just slightly modify it bend it slightly something like this this is just to add some movement in the in the image let's do that over here as well great and let's um, pick this one and maybe i can just move it to the right and maybe this one i'll just shrink and kind of move it to the right as well something like this i'm just adding uh, small movements into this image if you play the animation like this you can see there is a there is a movement in the image but if you want more of it then you can of course go to grid warp and pull it more to the sides for now i think that looks fine you can also change the magnet type to, to selected and select multiple points like so make sure you're at the very first frame and kind of uh, start moving the image around like so you will have a uh, movement in the in the static image and this effect is a bit heavy on your system so what you can do is you can go to fusion or you can go to playback and reduce the uh, playback resolution to quarter or you can just let fusion you know render the animation over here and you can then play it back and forth and see how it looks i'm quite satisfied with this animation actually just go to the spline over here and i'll just um select the keyframe over here and i will uh, set this to loop and see what that does so if i just go over here i think loop would not work we will set this to ping pong um, so that we have a 
nicely looped animation. Great, once you have that, then you can move ahead. Let's do our text animation. And I'm just going to type in one over here. Then I want to create a diamond shape around the text. So for that, I will need a background, make it white, and then we'll just connect this together. So result in merge, take a look at it. And then let's add in a rectangle mask to this background. We will uncheck solid and increase the border width and then kind of angle it to 45. And then we have to change the width and the height. Let's just also turn on guides over here. And with the guides, you can kind of uh, make sure that this is centered nicely. Let's also go to size, uh, go to the text and increase the size. I want to create that feathered look into this graphic over here. So I can add in a rectangle mask to this background too. Take a look at it and make sure that the mask is applied to the bottom part of it. And then we will click on invert and increase the soft edge. But as you can see, it is kind of applying only to the number over here and not on the on the shape. So we can go to the merge and hit Control T on it to swap the inputs. And now it's applying it onto the shape. So uh, you can take the output of the rectangle mask over here and connect it to this text so that it applies on both the text and as well as the shape over here. Now I have my first number. I want to create a little animation as well. I want to fade in the entire thing, the number and the shape. If I go here and do that in the blend property, you can see that it actually will animate or fade the shape itself. And then for the text, you have to do that separately in the shading tab over here in the opacity. So yeah, this, um, is not the ideal solution so what we can do is we can do this in the multi-merge so if i just delete my merge over here and find multi-merge let's hit shift spacebar and type in multi-merge click on add the background coming in from here so i'll just make sure that this is the background and then you can connect it connect all the other graphics like so first of all in the multi merge i want the number to be behind the hand so just simply drag it down now it's behind it next up i want to animate both the text as well as the shape so i can do that simply in the blend over here so maybe at frame 20 we will animate the blend set this to zero and go to frame 50 and set that to one. So we have a simple fade in animation like so. Great, and I can simply repeat this. I can just copy this. Um, so this will be our second number. So just type in two over here. And then in the multi-merge itself, you don't have to add transforms after every node you can do that right in the multi-merge which is quite powerful so i can select my merge tool if i just click on this check mark i can toggle it on and off and see which uh, node or which graphic it selects so merge two is the number one so i can type in num one i can change its size over here change its position and move it any way that i want so i'm going to set this to 0.3 and move it over in the top over here. And I can do that with my number two over here. So let's rename this to number two, set this to 0.3 and let's change its position. So let's bring it over here. And again, I want the graphic to be under the image so I can just make sure the number is under the layer at the top copy this again control c control v take the output and connect it like so just go to the multi merge over here select the merge at the top bring it under and let's call it num3 let's just set this to 0.3 for now 
and also let's just change that to three in the text itself uh, great so now back in the multi merge i can change its position maybe move it somewhere over here let's copy and paste so and let's bring that in and this will be num5 put it under and set the size to 0.3 and change its position so this will be number four you can also rename the nodes over here uh, to keep the project organized uh, but for now i'm just gonna leave it as it is again let's connect it and bring it under the layer and call it num five set this to point three again you can rename it to whatever you want it doesn't have to be in num five and down over here in the text i'll set switch or replace it with number five we have all these um, sized properly and positioned properly now for the animation i can go to the multi merge again and start animating it so if i go to number two and in blend if i just link it to multi merge one then you can see that they will animate at the same time but i want to have some delay in between the animations now if i select my multi merge and go to keyframes and if i expand multi merge i should see number one and number two because that's where the keyframes are applied. If I start changing the keyframe position, you can see that both keyframes are changing, the number one and number two as well. Reason is because they are linked. So what we have to do is let's reset the blend on number two. So make sure that's selected over here. Double click to reset it. And then I'll just go to frame 30, create a new keyframe on blend, start it with zero, and then go to frame 60 and set that to one. So now you'll see there is a delay between these two animations and you have to repeat this process for each number. So I'll just go here over here in number three and I'll just set the blend to zero and then go forward. Things should be over here. So if I just reset the blend again, set this to zero at frame 40 and then go forward to frame 70 and set that to one and repeat this process so now your animation will look something like this they will appear one after the other now the next thing that we will add a glow so let's add in a glow take a look at it and i'm adding it after the multi-merge and I want to apply the glow only to the numbers so the way we do that is by changing the apply mode to threshold and it will only select the brighter parts of the image which in case is numbers and now i can dial it down so i can change the glow size or maybe increase it i'll just reduce it first and increase the glow something like this and then i can copy and paste it we have second glow and i'm going to just increase the size on this one like that all right you can play around with the intensity of that glow over here you can see that some of the glow is applied to the image over here with the threshold i can control that as well i want to apply some texture on the overall scene over here so what we can do is we already have a half tone texture inside of fusion so if i just open up the effects over here or let me try and search it over here if i can find it no it's not over here in the select tool so for that you have to go to effects type in check and then in the templates you will see a check over here so just drag that in take a look at it this is how it's going to look now for the size we'll set this to 0 0.1 or set this to 0 0.1 or maybe 0 0.01 and for the angles reset it to zero and you can just simply connect it to this multi-merge in the viewer i'll just look at the second glow over here but in the multi-merge over here i'm going to select this checker crop layer you can also rename this 
but here i'm going to change the apply mode i can um change different modes over here but i think overlay works the best so i'm going to select that and then in the check again i will reduce the size even more and you can see that we have this really cool half tone kind of texture in our scene over here and then i'll just also enable film damage i think it just really looks cool with that on uh, see how nicely the the texture blends into the background kind of fades into this background that looks really nice and of course you can um, change some settings over here as well and then for the image as well you can go to the color corrector and modify it even more so yeah there you have it that's how easy it is to create such animations inside of fusion you can also add in a simple transform over here if i just go to the very first frame animate the transform go to maybe frame 30 and set this back to 0 0.5 and let's just ease it in select all hit f that is pretty much it that's how you can create a manga z style animation inside of davinci resolve i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new from this if you did do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one